Welcome to Homelink Training for Infinity Smart Rearview Mirror with two-way functionality. For your first time training Homelink, press and hold the outer two Homelink buttons to clear it, releasing only when the Homelink indicator light begins to flash after 10 seconds. Do not perform this step when training additional Homelink buttons. Press and release the Homelink button you'd like to train and an indicator light will begin slowly flashing. Position the handheld garage door remote one to three inches away from the Homelink buttons in your mirror. Press and hold the button on your handheld garage door remote. Do not release until the Homelink indicator light changes from slowly flashing to either solid or rapidly flashing. Wait until your garage door has stopped moving before completing the next steps. Press and hold the trained Homelink button for two seconds, then release. Wait three seconds, then repeat this press, hold, and release process again. If the indicator light is solid or continuous, training is complete and your garage door should activate when the Homelink button is pressed and released. If the indicator light blinks rapidly and the door is not moving, proceed with the following training instructions. A second person may make the following steps quicker and easier. A ladder may be needed to reach the Learn, Program, or Smart button on your garage door opener. Do not stand on your vehicle to perform the next steps. On your garage door opener in the garage, locate the Learn, Program, or Smart button. The name and color of the button will vary by manufacturer. This button is usually located near where the hanging antenna wire is attached to the garage door opener. If you have difficulty locating this button, reference the device's owner's manual. Please note, this step is time sensitive, and once the button is pressed, you will have up to 30 seconds in which to initiate the next step. Press and release the Learn, Program, or Smart button. Return to the vehicle and firmly press and hold the Train Homelink button for two seconds and release. Repeat the press, hold, and release sequence up to three times to complete the training process. Homelink should now activate your garage door. For some newer Chamberlain, LiftMaster, Craftsman, and Rainer brand garage doors, two-way communication on your Homelink may be enabled. Two-way communication enables users to see garage door movement and check their last known action with the garage door even when they're away from the garage. If the two-way feature in your full display mirror's home link has been properly activated, you can check the last known status by pressing buttons 1 and 2 simultaneously or 2 and 3 simultaneously. Your mirror will display the last known door status via arrow indicators. If your garage door opener has this functionality, home link mirror arrow indicators may appear after completion of training and no further training will be needed. If your garage door is functioning but you do not see the indicators, use the following instructions to enable this functionality. In your vehicle, press and hold the Train Homelink button for two seconds, then release. Confirm that the garage door is moving. When it stops, you will have about one minute to complete the following steps. A second person may make the following steps quicker and easier. A ladder may be needed to reach the Learn, Program, or Smart button on your garage door opener. Do not stand on your vehicle to perform the next steps. On your garage door opener in your garage, locate the Learn, Program, or Smart button. It's usually near where the antenna wire is attached to the garage door opener. If there is difficulty locating this button, reference the device's owner's manual. Press and release the Learn, Program, or Smart button. A light on your garage door opener may flash, confirming completion of the two-way enrollment process. Pressing the Trained Homelink button will now activate your garage door and show when the door is moving and has finished moving. Two-way training is now complete. It is important that you retain the original handheld garage door remote for use in other vehicles as well as for future Homelink programming. 